hi everyone uh, welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's video i will share a day um, a life of a mandala art scholar um, basically i'll be sharing um, a day in a typical day during our workshops so we have uh, uh, here we have three workshops as uh, scholars and uh, this are this like the second workshop um, so usually there is a workshop just at the beginning of the of the uh, residency period there is one uh, somehow uh, mid year and then there is a uh, last one uh, uh, towards the end of the year so usually they we each scholar has a room and uh, often take uh, a hotel and uh, change venues depending on the, the foundation so in this midterm uh, workshop we were lodged in a hotel in Stellenbosch. What I really like with uh, the hotels uh, selected by the foundation is the fact that they are very beautiful hotels and um, the, the environment is really conducive for an, uh, an in-depth introspection because trust me the, 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 the sessions we have during the workshops can be somehow very intense and you really need a cool environment to digest uh, all the solid food, uh, 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 all the solid uh, mental and intellectual food given to you during the workshops. These are usually very busy. We start uh, in the morning very early by 8, 9 a.m. and some days we can even close at uh, 9, 9 p.m. 8, 39 p.m. So we start the morning by having a breakfast and uh, Later on, we, we meet for an activity depending on what uh, is on the timetable. I must make sure you get my right side, eh? Ah. Uh, oh. Make sure you get my right side. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> the workshops usually last for one uh, five days, so we spend five days in the hotel. <laughs> Thank you. I know you're sure you're telling yourself, wow, those ladies are beautiful. Yeah, you should be telling yourself that because there are really, really pretty girls in our cohort. And in previous cohorts, so, and in future cohorts, so you should apply for a scholarship, definitely. After breakfast, we, um, according to the timetable, we had a, a session uh, on, on the Instagram. Uh, so we started it. Uh, we started the Instagram um, in the previous workshop. So this is the second workshop. We're just continuing the activities around it. Um, it's a, the Instagram is a tool that permits uh, individuals to better understand themselves and uh, other people, like how we think, uh, what uh, what our motivations, and uh, how to better control our uh, or canalize our <laughs> thoughts or whatever. After breakfast, we now had. Uh, we we had to visit a wine farm. The trips are usually very fun, and it's time to connect with your friends. So we stopped at the the Somme's Delta, uh, a wine farm, which was our first stop for the day. And uh, the main uh, activity we had to do here was uh, to observe how uh, the wine farm was being managed. And uh, this is because um, it's really um, somehow a great story or um, not a common story whereby uh, a farm owner, a wine farm owner decides to um, include share ownership with the uh, uh, or let us say share leadership of the wine farm with uh, his uh, with his fellow workers so he's basically a guy who um, professor at the university we don't mention the university uh, who decided to um, to change the way things were being done in his family for for years now so he decided to like you know what in the past my family members or yeah family used to own this farm uh, and uh, they were taking decisions be, me, mainly without necessarily considering the the, 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 the the workers but now he decided to like uh, try to involve the workers in decision taking of uh, the, the, the to the farm and uh, I 
I'll say in quote, in quote, shared ownership with, uh, when I say share ownership, anyway, share ownership with the workers. So, um, it was a, a great moment to uh, try to understand what could be the motivations and uh, how uh, uh, um, somebody did something that uh, literally is not somehow uh, uh, done in the, in the, in the area, if I can put it like that. So the wine farm has a, a, a museum and a very beautiful one though. And uh, it was really great because I I love visiting museums and it was a great moment. I, I enjoyed myself sincerely. You might be asking yourself what stones are doing in the wine farm. <laughs> anyway, so uh, from the stories, it's kind of like these are things that archaeologists have uh, found. Um, on the wine farm like the land where the wine farm is found so these are kind of things that were found there and uh, they were included in the museum so the museum has a lot of like uh, stories about the people that live in the area that is now uh, occupied by the farm or the the, 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 the the people that lived there before And the museum also has stories about, uh, like, I mean, the wine farm story, if I can put it like that, with, uh, like, uh, how ownership in the wine farm literally, like, changed over time, and uh, who were, like, the first slaves uh, uh, who worked in, uh, on the farm, and uh, um, when, like, I mean, the, 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 the names of the slaves on this board, and like where they came from trying to trace 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 them back from their origins usually the work, uh, during the workshop there are really great moments um especially when we start touching um the the past and what happened and try to revisit history from a different uh, lens and uh, Personally, it usually triggers a lot of um, f- emotions in me, but then it's, uh, it's always a great moment to understand what happened and to see, th- uh, that, that, that really helps me to see things uh, 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 with a different eye, if I can put it like that, and uh, to, to, to go about things in a, a different way.
Um, so we had um, uh, one of our last uh, session on the Instagram, and um, this is uh, was in the afternoon. So uh, we met and uh, we had to work a little bit more. Trust me, this uh, whole thing is so 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 intense, and uh, it leaves a lot of things behind. But it is really great, like you enjoy yourself. So after um, having uh, dinner. We often meet for a last activity, and uh, at times we even have the activity with dinner. It depends on the, the timetable. So yeah, and uh, tonight we had uh, like a team building uh, kind of activity with uh, uh, drum cafe. You should say group something kind of thing. <laughs> so yeah, we we had the session, and I'll leave I'll leave you to enjoy. <laughs> timetable of the foundation because scholars are not boring individuals we have our own timetable to follow anyway thank you very much for following the video i hope you enjoy see you next time bye